Hello, this is BC. Welcome to my new YouTube and Rumble channel, Based LDS. Um, if you couldn't guess by the name, I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Uh, sometimes we're called the Mormons. Um, it's not a name I'm particularly a fan of, but it's the one that we're best known by, so I won't, I won't mind too much if you get on there and use that. But please, you know, out of some respect, LDS or Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, although that's a lot of typing and a, a lot of words. Um, you might be wondering why I'm making this channel. Uh, it's because I believe... I believe we're called to defend uh, the church. Um, there's a lot that's been said lately um, about the church. And there's just a lot of general bad stuff in the world altogether that has nothing to do with the church directly, that things that we're all going through uh, politically and culturally um, in the United States and, and around the world. Um, so... Basically, this channel is to just is to stand as my witness to what I believe, what I stand for, and, and what I'll be doing, and uh, what hopefully we can build a community of saints and other believers who will help to change the course of history for this nation, uh, the the events taking place that's currently shaping who we are. Um, because it's, it's going wrong. But I also see that there's a lot going on around the world that is just as horrid. Um, I do not have any special degree. I do not have any special standing in the church or in the world that makes my voice prominent, important, or noteworthy other than Christ called on all of his disciples to testify. And I do want to be a disciple of Christ. Uh, I pray that I can be a better disciple every day. Um, so, so here I am. Um, I've actually thought about doing this for many months now. And, uh, but I wanted to look into what some of the other LDS channels were, uh, were saying out there, what they were like. And so I could better understand how I might be a more unique or uh, informed source of information and, uh, and a better witness of truth. Because there are different channels out there that do a great job of pushing information, um, of making people aware of what the stance of the church is and what we're doing as a people of faith to help and try and course correct a lot of what we have going on. Now, when I say course correct, it's dealing with a lot of the craziness in the world today, rise in violence, uh, the strife of so many different peoples of faith, nationalities, race, uh, religion, various persuasions, and these are sad and heartbreaking. And I do believe that there's a Heavenly Father who weeps because of our inhumanity to each other. Um, I wouldn't say we're as in the days of Noah, but I wouldn't say we're far away. And I do believe those are the things that breaks his heart, that we can't come together. And that civility and discourse is breaking down and being lost. Um, so that's what this channel is supposed to do and to be a voice of. And I'm hoping that other like-minded people will join and share your voices with mine and add your voices, um, that you'll also stand as witnesses um, for what's right, for truth. Um, yeah. So this channel is, it's not, it will be Christ-centered, so there will be religious discussion, uh, doctrine, scripture, things like that. But I do believe that politics and culture are affecting and in some cases hampering the work of the Lord. Um, I do believe that, that the Lord knew this would happen uh, and that's why things have to get so bad in the last days. 
but I don't believe we're supposed to roll over and take it. I do believe we're supposed to, to raise our voice as a voice of warning to the world so that all might have a chance to come unto Christ or, sadly, to reject Him. Um, some knowingly, some because they've been blinded through guile and misdirection and propaganda and, and other things. So that's what this channel is for. I'll be talking about politics, um, mostly American, not really local. I, I'm, not, I'm not in Utah. I'm not in the Mormon bubble. Um, I'm, I'm more towards the uh, Midwest. I live in uh, South Dakota, actually. I guess that's Midwest. Um, in the Black Hills, the most beautiful <laughs> section of South Dakota. And so far, uh, the greatest place that I've lived. Uh, we've transplanted here from Denver, or as I call it, Sodom, Boulder being Gomorrah. Um, so I was lucky to escape, and I am not looking back at all. And either is my wife or, or anyone else that's moved here that's transplanted from California, Colorado, and other places. There's so many people that have lived, moved here in the last two years from other places because they know that you can still get freedom here. Uh, Florida could learn from us. <laughs> anyway, um, so, so I guess on politics, I am a conservative. I am barely a Republican. I am not a fan of the weak, timid tactics of the Republicans, that they don't really stand up for much, that uh, all they do is slow the bleeding taking place, and they don't do anything to really prevent it or correct it. Um, and so and it breaks my heart because... I've given time and money to the Republican Party, and that's at an end. Um, I still I vote Republican because the Democrats have just lost their minds. They are crazy. Um, some, knowingly, they've bought into the cult wholeheartedly. Uh, the death cult of abortion. The death cult of worships the sun god that will, if they sacrifice enough babies and kill enough people by through starvation and and not letting them pay for, the, pay for their heating and not making housing available, that our uh, generous overlords, Bill Gates and others, will uh, bless us with their wisdom and lead us back into the dark ages and medieval times that, that so many fought so hard to get away from. But it seems that, that the elites would pull us back to because they're definitely buying land they're definitely taking measures uh, to make life hard on the rest of us while not exactly paying any price for themselves. Um, and that is, that's a grievance that'll be addressed in, in later times. The Bill Gates thing was kind of a joke right now. Don't, don't you know, don't go like, ah, conspiracy theorist. I'm, I'm not that guy. Um, but I do believe in the, in the principles that, that this country was established upon that the Founding Fathers brought forth um, classical liberalism, uh, the freedom to express yourself, to gather according to who you want to spend time with, and uh, freedom of religion, but freedom, of a, freedom from a state religion as well. Uh, the right of conscience, that's something I don't think we talk about enough. Um, and so, so these are things I'll go into. I, uh, I'm a Trump guy. I'm a DeSantis guy. Um, I'm leaning one way if they were to meet and run against each other. I'm leaning towards one particular candidate. But I will go for... I support both of them. They're both good to me. I don't have a problem with either one. Um, I am an America first guy. Now that said, I'm not some sort of ethno-nationalist. America's for whites. I'm not, I'm not that guy. And I don't really believe that nationalism, America first, is that. I think that's something that a demon press is, has cooked up to, to, to try and persuade people that we're scary, frightening monsters. And that's just not the case. Um, I believe in America first. And I believe if you're in Great Britain, British first. I, well, England, England first, 
Ireland, Irish first. Uh, Russia, Russia first. Ukraine, Ukraine first. You get the idea. I do believe we should have politicians looking out for the best interest of the people of that nation. Um, I'll also talk about culture and <laughs> the state of Hollywood, which is sad right now. Uh, they used to have good stories. They used to have good music. Not anymore. Um, but I will also, I will do all of these things through what I hope will be an eternal perspective, an eternal being another name for God. Um, I'd originally thought about naming my channel Eternal Perspectives, but I'm not that guy. I'm not high-minded and upper brow and, and, and I'm kind of a brawler. <laughs> and so, so yeah, so based, but I will try and develop, I will try and act with courtesy and charity. I will not slander anyone. I will not demean any person. Uh, but I will take ideas to task. And where the ideas are ri ridiculous, I will clown them where they deserve to be. If they're serious, honest, well-meant ideas, I will not clown them. Just put them aside, show why they're incorrect, or what's the, what the problems are, or what's good about them, too. But where they're just evil, I'll just clown it, because they don't need to be treated with any sort of honest respect. They need to be treated with the respect deserving of scum. Uh, so, you know, my videos, I don't think they'll be too long. I do hope they'll be interesting. I do hope you'll find them interesting. I do hope you'll contribute through the comments and tell me what you think. Give me your ideas, where you think I'm wrong, where you think I'm right. Give me additional sources that might give me more information. Um, I do try and stay abreast of the news. Uh, politics, culture, what's going on in the world. Um, so I do try and, and stay current and on top of those. But really, you know, for the most part, I'm a guy out here in the middle of nowhere enjoying life, trying to stay warm this coming winter. Um, I guess that's going to be it for this first video. Uh, peace to you all. See you again in a bit. Bye.